Hello and welcome. Welcome back to Dragonborn. Back to Solsheim. Let's uh, see what this guy needs. Precious Corellius, have you? That foolish old man's taken my pickaxe again. Oh no. No, no, no. This isn't just your run-of-the-mill pickaxe. I'm talking about an ancient Nordic pickaxe. They don't exactly grow on trees, you know. Sounds interesting. Um, I prefer to handle these things on my own. Look, if you see Crescius, tell him to give me that pickaxe back, and I'll pay you for the trouble. Sounds good. It's the only tool tough enough to crack Stallrim, is what it is. Not many of those beauties left in the world. Forging them is a lost art. The one Crescius borrowed came from the Skull Village up north. I, uh, traded them some goods for it. Cool. So, if any of you remember from you Morrowind's Blood Moon, if any of you have played that, or else. you get... The ancient Nordic pickaxe in that, and you can use it to mine Stallrim, like he said. And Stallrim is essentially some kind of weird, My husband, ancient, powerful ice that that's in barrows. It's in crypts and tombs and such. And you mine that, and you can make armor. I don't remember if there were Stallrim weapons as well, but... I know for sure there was armor that you could forge. And that was neat. It was like a cool blue ice armor kind of thing. Damn it, woman. I said to leave me be. Oh, that was close by. Precious, last time you explored the mine, you almost fell to your death. I'm not spending the rest of my days as a widow. And I'm telling you that I'll do whatever it takes to find my great grandfather's remains. That's a neat outfit. It's down here. I can feel it. That was almost two centuries ago. There may be nothing left to find. Just let me go, woman. Crecius, you're an obstinate old fool and you're going to get yourself killed. Seems like a new quest. Who in the blazes are you? Can't you see I'm busy? Why should I tell you? I don't even know who you are. I could help you, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe. Been difficult trusting people lately. They think I'm crazy. But mark my words, these mines hold a secret that could put Raven Rock back on the map. A secret the East Empire Company swept under the rug two centuries ago. It killed my great grandfather and left Raven Rock with a worthless and tainted mine. Gracian Kyrelius. He spent his entire life exploring ancient ruins across Tamriel, and he died in these very mines almost 200 years ago. The East Empire Company called it a terrible accident, claiming that he was lost in a rockfall, but I know better. My wife and I were cleaning out our home, and we came across some of my great-grandfather's things locked in an old chest. I found an unsent letter he'd written to the East Empire Company, and a key. It describes a discovery that was made in the mine by some of the diggers. They wanted Gratian to take a closer look. The East Empire Company must have felt it was of great value, as they locked that section of the mine off from everyone else. It is. Well, I assume it is. I haven't been able to find the entrance. It is a little weird. Finally! Someone who believes me! I'm telling you, there's something big down there. Something that the East Empire Company wanted to hide from everyone. Look! My wife nags that I'm too old to go traipsing around these mines chasing my story. Time's my enemy. It's caught up with me before I could find the answers that I'm looking for. I do. I want to know what happened to Gratian. And what the East Empire Company is keeping from all of us. Gratian kept a journal of notes about his discoveries. If you can find his remains, uh, I'm hoping it will help. Here's everything I have. The letter, the key. Please, do this for me. So I can finally regain the respect that I've lost. Sure thing, but could I have that, that one pickaxe first? The damn fool doesn't even deserve to have it. The pickaxe was made for mining, not selling. I'll bet he stole it from the Skull in the first place. 
still. Oh, very well. Here. Tell him I hope he drops a thing on his foot. Okay. Be careful down there. The mine can be treacherous. Thanks for the quest. I'm leading Cretius on. I'll never understand. And thanks for the pickaxe. The lower sections of the mine. That was extremely easy. He didn't even ask me to finish the other quest for him before giving me the pickaxe. So I'm a little bit surprised about that, but I guess thanks anyways. That's very nice of you, paranoid old man. Well, justifiably paranoid. It does seem a little bit weird given all the evidence he he gave me and everything he talked about. Your actions here have been a blessing to us all, sir. Find my pickaxe yet? Yep. Pretty easy. You could have just walked a little ways. So, you finally tracked down old Crescius, eh? Quite a character, isn't he? Tell you what, since you went through all the trouble of finding it for me and all, you keep it. Anything to report, Captain Villain? I just wanted to remind that it's codger right. you can't just go around taking things from other Something people. Troubling you? Now that you've I've delivered the message, I'm satisfied. Apologies Besides, that pickaxe My hasn't done me any good in years. Maybe you can put it to good use. Wow, really? Bring your weapons and armor to me. I'll fix it up right. Assisting the Redoran guard with the You literally just had to walk up the hill and into the mine and ask him for it and he would have given it to you. Okay. <laughs> and then you just give it to me. Super nice of you, but well, I guess I shouldn't I don't know. It makes sense, right? He gives me a quest to find something and then he just gives it to me. Sure. That works. That makes sense. Why you're leading Cretius on, I'll never understand. It's gonna be fun to mine some stall room though. I haven't mined anything in a while. There's actually two ways of mining. Most people I don't think most people know that. You can either just go to a mining node and press A, or you can equip the pickaxe and just slash away at the mining node with your pickaxe and that will mine too. So it's kind of neat that that's in there, that you can just start hacking away at it with a pickaxe. But, you know, it's still kind of boring. So, eh. Oh goodness, a deadly spider in this mine. Whatever will I do? Oh wait, I have a bow made of the bones of dragons. So, yeah. That's a thing. So just sneakily, with my extremely bright light floating above me, go over to that spider and shoot him with this bizarre looking arrow. Where'd he go? Oh. And there he goes. Is that all of them? Seems like it. But someone still sees me. So I'm not sure what that's about. Hello? Is anyone there? Oh, okay. So there's still one spider left. Insta-kill with animation, real easy, with my mod sword, Dova Love. I think that's what it's called. It's a pretty nice longsword. I think it's the strongest longsword in the mod pack. It looks really cool. It's not enchanted or anything, it's just a normal sword, basically. But it's, uh, it's pretty neat. <laughs> I wonder what those could be. Hmm. Let me just hack those away. And there's randomly a bucket hanging from a chain. Huh. Okay. Uh, I guess that's there to haul up ore? 
Yeah, I, I, I guess that makes sense. They're hauling up ore. This is supposed to be a mine, even though all the mining nodes are empty. Emptied of their orage. So I'll just try to open up this lockbox that's expert. I'm hoping it isn't too hard and that it won't take too long to open up. You never know with these things. Hey, that worked out. And it has frozen. Huh. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. We are back. Everything is back. For some reason, the game froze when I opened that up, so I had to restart it and come all the way back down here. No worries. Through the magic of editing, all that extra fluff is gone, gone, gone. I don't know why. I mean, my, my Skyrim almost never crashes like that. It never freezes up like that, so I don't know what could have caused that. That's weird. Okay, so now it's getting very barrowy. Lots of little crevices for Nordic corpses. Yeah, okay. That guy's pretty weak, I'm sure they'll... Okay, there they are, the Death Lords. There has to, has to, has to be Death Lords because I'm too high level. Oh my god, that's loud. All those shouts just... Jeez. Okay. Just cut them down real fast. Wicha. Some lovely explosions. Some traps. Okay. Looking good so far. Oh my god. That's a little embarrassing, but it happens. Sometimes there's just no way to avoid it. Can't see if someone's about to attack or whatever. It happens. Really not sure where he went, though. I don't see anyone. Where did that shout come from? This is why I always use candlelight, because I can never see where the enemies are when I'm underground or traveling at night. It's impossible to see anything. Oh well. At least I have candlelight. It's such a useful spell. Such a useful spell. I don't remember. Is Night Eye in the game? That would also be a pretty good spell, and that would definitely be better for stealth. But I don't remember if you can actually get Night Eye in this game. I think there might be a Night Eye potion, but I don't know if you can get the spell. And that's really what I would want. I think it might be a racial ability too, or a racial power, but I'm not sure. Oh well. It doesn't really matter, does it? I'm basically indestructible. I've got my armor on, I've got my healing spell in my other hand. Okay, let's keep moving forward and see what that one guy's great-grandfather died for. It definitely seems like it, it's going to be some great, amazing treasure, but I guess we can't really know until we get there. There isn't a lot that actually has value to me at this point, because I pretty much have unlimited gems and money, got the best armor and weapons so far. I don't know if there's better armor and weapons in this expansion, obviously. I have the best you can get from the vanilla game and Dawn Guard. And I think that's it, right? There's no other expansions or DLC or anything that adds armor or weapons. So I think I have the best. I believe. Technically one of the mods I have might have better armor, but it just doesn't look as good as Daedric, so <laughs> I don't bother wearing it. I would, but 
Eh, the Daedric just looks so, so good. How can you turn Daedric down? I don't know. Maybe the stall rim will look really good and be comparable to Daedric, hopefully. I wouldn't mind switching up my armor a bit, but it just looks so good. I mean, every, every Elder Scrolls game, the Daedric always just looks so good. Oof. Oh well. Yeah, I'm a little wary of this grate because it looks like one of those grates that will just pop open and you'll be trapped underwater or something ridiculous like that. Oof, more shouting, jeez. I kind of get quests to go to libraries or something. It's always full of loud undead things. And I'm not sure if this is working as intended, but getting a whole lot of slow time effects going on here. Just endless slow time. I'm gonna end up killing this Draugr before my shout even gets to him. Okay, so I just barely passed through him before I killed him. Is this not kind of weird? <laughs> just all of this this time slowing. I don't know. Is that just what happens when a lot, a lot, a lot of enemies do power attacks at the same time? Or staggered a little, I guess? I think it's gotta be something like that, right? It's not a bug. I can't imagine. But it's neat anyways. So now I'm just gonna go through and see if there's any goodies, you know. The usual looty, Skyrim-y business. It's no fun if you can't get tons of loot and armor, weapons, all that good stuff. Although there really isn't much loot left that, that really holds value for me. I guess really just unique items at this point are pretty neat. Yeah, pretty standard stuff, but I love it. It's good fun. I'm trying to ooh and ah a little bit less this time because I know in that last video I was, I was kind of frantic. I was kind of going crazy. Oh my god, I'm on soul slime. All this crazy crap. It's all new. I'm trying to be a little bit more more relaxed and more reserved this time. Not that it matters. I mean, this is actually pretty. Pretty samey to the usual Skyrim stuff, you know? Just in a barrow, fighting undead, fighting Draugr. It's pretty standard vanilla, but I still enjoy it. It's neat to see the occasional brand new enemy or new spell or item or whatever. Of course, I'm having a lot of trouble with this master chest. Yes, I got it eventually. <laughs> You might have noticed there that some of the armor from the mod. I don't know. It's it's pretty comparable to the stuff that's already in the game. Just adds a little bit more variety. And it's all relatively lore appropriate and lore friendly. I really expected those two to pop open after I took the gem. Ooh, what's that? Is that Stallrim? It it looks special and different. And obviously it's blue ice stuff, just like Stallrim normally is, just like it normally looks like. Meh, I think I'll take it. Pretty sure I can melt it down for some ingots, so that's something. Ugh, so much looting. I'm really enjoying Dragonborn so far. I'm only, I think this is my third quest so far, but I am enjoying it. It's, it's a lot of fun getting back into the game, back into 
all of the environments and the weapons and the enemies and everything. I actually missed Skyrim quite a bit. It's been a while since I've even bothered playing a, a more traditional RPG like this, a fantasy RPG. There's just been so much Hearthstone and Rebirth and Sleeping Dogs and Thief. I mean, they're kind of RPG-y, but it's not exactly like Skyrim. Skyrim isn't super traditional either. Because usually, you know, with RPGs you get the whole stat system and everything, but I would say it's pretty close. Uh, now just a relaxing mining session, getting some stall rim. I'm not sure if I have to go to someone special to have it forged into equipment, or if I can just do it myself. Because my, my smithing is level 100, so... If anyone could smith it, I probably should be able to. I might have to learn it from someone, or... I don't know. I might not be able to smith with it at all. I might have to... Whoa. I might have to go to someone separate. So for this, I'll just whip out my shield. Because I have that one perk that... Reduces all elemental... Magic damage as long as I'm blocking. I'm pretty sure that's how it works, right? Is it just all elemental magic damage or is it specifically spells or is it specifically enchanted weapons? I don't know. I'm pretty sure the description is nebulous enough that I don't, there's no way to really know unless you check the wiki or something, but I think it protects against some of that damage, I think. Yeah. So I'll just have some, some snipey fun. Shoot these guys from afar. Bam! Oh. I mean, he... He dodged that really expertly, just last second... Speedy move. Okay. Okay, so there's at least two there. I'll take them down a tiny bit. Obviously, this isn't doing a whole lot of damage. Because I'm trying to get rid of my crappiest arrows first. Okay, so there's three. Looks like there's three. Oh, boy. Oh, right into the wall. Oh, boy. I was really lucky I didn't get double stunned there and just knocked knocked out again but I tell you the Draugr Deathlord archers are just so so damaging they do so much damage to me it's ridiculous especially compared to the melee ones the melee ones are fine but the archers are just obscene yeah don't mind me just looting mid-combat. Bam. Oh. Okay, nice, nice animation kill. Okay. So there should be one more, right? We saw at least one more. And of course... This is the only way I'm going to see the other Death Lord. Okay, so... Oh, come on, please. I'm not sure if this actually works. Oh, well, I didn't get it up in time. I can't remember, but I think if you block with your shield, it maybe, maybe protects you from the full knockback of Fusroda. Maybe. I can't remember for sure, and obviously I haven't gotten a successful block off so far against the shout okay so I have to run all the way up here 
and over to the left, and then, ah, there you are. Okay. Yeah. Nice and easy. That's better. Okay. So I'm in a good spot. Just gonna do some some quick exploring, some quick checking around. To see if there's any loot to be had. See if there's anything behind the water. Oh, there is something behind the waterfall. Uh, I don't really want to go through there yet. I want to fully explore this dungeon area and then maybe I'll see where that door leads. But first I want to make sure I've got... Okay, so there's another locked door, but it doesn't look like there's any switches nearby. I don't know. Where is the switch? Ah, okay. There it is. Yeah, okay. Oh, and there's a chest. Oh boy. Lock picking again. Please. I'm. Oh, I, I was so close. Just needs a little bit further right. Yeah, okay. Alright. Yeah, just take all of it. Who cares? Water walking. That's interesting. I don't remember if you can get that as a spell. Oh well. Yeah, I think that's good. So next, let's go through and see what's in here. Mm -hmm. 